Hello and welcome to the People's Business Check and Stimus Packed Update as of November 5th, 2020. As you can see, I'm, sh I'm sharing my life with you. What's in my background is the time I went homeless. I was actually homeless with my fiance. And we were camping in Cedar City. And what you're looking at is my brother in law showing us a FEMA camp that is in Cedar City. And you heard me correctly, this is a FEMA camp. As you can see, as I show you inside, you can see that there's uh, places for people to sleep. And this is basically what they're trying to do for emergencies is to put people inside these Connex containers to sleep in and possibly freeze. But that is besides the point. This this is just in this check. It's in this package update. So let's get on with it here. We have majority the Senate leader, Mitch McConnell, saying that he wants to get a stimulus package passed before the end of the year. Whereas if you remember last week, he was saying that one would not get passed until the end of the year or in the beginning of next year. And then we also have plenty of uh, Democrats out there that are complaining about the, how they will get rid of Nancy Pelosi because she's not bringing different people, which I agree she is not. <coughs> and then, uh, let's see here, Democrats retain control of the House, but by a small margin. The Senate and the presidency has not yet been decided yet, but so far... Some of the polls show for the Senate is that Republicans will retain control of that. And as far as the presidency goes, uh, Joe Biden is by 264 points, whereas Trump only has 214 points. So let's hope that Biden wins because if he does, you know he's going to help out all the people because if you watched my show yesterday, you saw the promises that he said he was going to make. And so that was a good thing. And let's see here. There's already not a whole lot to say as far as this, this package update goes. That's what I'm going to make it really short. So I hope everyone out there went, went out and voted and voted for the proper person because Trump is not the proper person. But that's also my opinion. I also hope everyone else out there is also needs to get in some sort of uh, food and nutrition in their bodies to keep themselves alive so they can survive. In fact, I hope everyone is actually surviving. Our <clears throat> total case counts for COVID-19 has reached over 100,000 in one day which is now our new all-time daily high. But we expected this because COVID-19 is running rampant since it is getting to be the colder seasons, and that's where it like flourish. Also, another thing to add to it is I hope you also got your flu shots to help you guys out with the whole COVID-19 issue. This way you don't get the flu and COVID at the same time. That would be a very bad thing. And I just want to say hi to all my viewers and all my subscribers. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And excellent evening, and I have some more important information to let you guys know. I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow, let you know. Until then, you guys have a wonderful